Caleb, what game we playing today? Dino Rice. Ooh, do you like Dino Rice? Yes. Why? Um, because it's just you move your dinos, you get them to the end, and you win. <laughs> kind of simple. You like moving dinos to the end? Yeah. Nice. Well, sweet. Well, why don't you tell me what Dino Race is about? You already told me something about getting to the end. So, Dino Race is about getting your color dinosaur all the way around the track to this tile. Oh, okay. When you get to this tile, you draw a random one of these. Oh, not random. You look at them. You look at these tiles. Oh, let me see what they look like. Yep. So they got all sorts of different numbers. Yeah, and yeah. how many of those are in the game? Uh, there are 12 okay. in, the, in the game to choose from. When you start a game, you take however many dinos there are and put them upside down. Okay, so you've picked six yeah. of those for now. The other ones okay. go... Great. In the box. <laughs> okay, so you get one of those prizes for each. So when a dino gets to the end, he gets to take a prize. Is the trail away from the volcano the same every time? Uh, no, you make your own trail. Oh, so you randomly grab those? I could have put it right here. Ah, so you just did a little circle and it randomly, whichever ones come out. There's three of each, but how they get put in order is different every time. Mm -hmm. Okay, fantastic. All right, show me what you do on your turn. Okay, so on your turn, you get your cards, you draw cards, however many dinos there are on the board right now. So I would take two. Okay, how many of your dinos are still on the track? Two. Yep. You take two cards, okay. And then what do those cards look like? Show me what they look like. Oh, okay. Alright, and how do you use the cards? Um, you play a card down to the... these cards. The terrain cards? Yeah, so these cards, you move to the... Like, if I want to move my dinosaur to this type, I put my discard card down and move it onto there. Can you move more than one space ahead? Uh, well, you can if you play more cards. Oh, but, but you, have to that, play, no. you have to play the type of card at the terrain next in line for you to move to. Yes. Nice. There is also, you can discard two cards to get one card. If you don't like your cards. If you don't like your cards, you can do that. Yeah. Okay. So you can play terrain yes. to move ahead to that tile. That's how you move them ahead. Sweet. Okay. There are also wild cards, which look like this. Okay. So all terrain types. Yes. So I would play it. Move my guy to there. Okay. Play this. Move him even further. But so you can play I as many cards as... my two of there for this. Oh. So I don't have any left. You can play as many cards as you want on your turn as long as you can keep going. Huh? Yes. And then there are these. What are these? This I am going to play. What does that mean? That means I knock a dino back on my spot. So one of these two. Back one. So you knock him back. Whew. And then this one, I steal one of my opponent's cards randomly. Oh, okay. So I would put it down and be like, I choose this card. Okay, and what'd you get? This. So I'm going to play it again <laughs> and steal another you one like of his cards him. and get this and I'll play that to move my dino there. Wow, you played a lot on your turn. Yeah, yeah, there's no more cards for me to play so I'll keep that one and then roll the event dice. Ooh, so after you've played all that you want to, now you could have kept more if you wanted to hold back on it. Yeah. Okay, what does the event die look like? Uh, there are different sides. Okay. Volcano. That um, Terrains, symbol. yeah. That's some. That's symbol. Okay. That's symbol. That's symbol. So different terrains. Draw two cards in a volcano. Okay. So yes. go ahead and roll it. I got tree. What does everyone, that mean? Everyone on tree draws one card. And is there anyone on tree? Oh, you were. Yes. Sweet. So okay. And what happened if the other things came up? What if the volcano came up? Uh, if the volcano came up, this would go kabumo. You've got an active volcano now. And now this. Whoever had this in their possession, I'll say it was had the, the egg. Uh huh. Uh, they would lose the egg, discard all their cards, oh, and then pass it to a different person. So they choose who they give the. So having the egg is bad when the volcano's rolled. Yes. 
but when you make it off and you have the egg, you get to take one of these randomly. Oh, so if you carry the egg to the end, you're going to get bonus points. And I'll choose this one. That's Ooh. seven points. All right, so there's another special kind of card too. Um, yes, there is this card. Okay. Which is throw the egg. <laughs> if I had the egg and I was on the same spot as blue, I would give it to blue. Okay. I cannot give it to yellow because he is not on the same tile. All right, well, what if you don't own the egg? Then, I don't have the egg. I play that, and I trip the dino. Oh, so it's a trip, and what happens to him now? Yes, so I discard two of his cards to stand back up. Oh, all sorts of things. So, you draw cards, play cards, roll the event die, and what happens when the volcano gets rolled again? Like, if it were to get hit now, what would happen? All three of these go forward. Yellow gets two lava drops, and blue gets one lava drop. Okay. Just. And this tile is now molten lava. Ooh, so every time that gets rolled, the lava is going to be pushing the dinos along. When you get to the end of the game, how do you know who wins? Whoever has the most points. When a dino sword gets to the end, there are these. He gets to the end and he says, hmm, I'll choose this one. And then he keeps that face down and puts him back and his dino is off the board. Then he can only draw one card on his turn, however. And why that? Oh, because he's only got one only left out on the track. one dinosaur left on the track. Okay. So, then, when he gets his other dinosaur off, he says, yay, I will take this one, because it's the highest value. And he has those. And then, on his turn, he doesn't draw any cards. He can't play any cards. Because all he, does is roll the dice. he got both of his dinosaurs to the end. So all he does is roll the dice, put the, and those two get two cards. Roll the dice, give him cards, give him cards, or just he can still make the volcano blow up. <laughs> yeah. Which could be hurting other people. Because how do the what do the lava drops mean at the end of the game? So at the end of the game, if you've got the dinosaurs off, you've scored some prize points. And if you've got lava drops, what does that mean? You get minus points. I had 16 points out of these and 7 points out of this. If you got the egg to the end. Yeah, that's it, I did. So, this one makes this a 3. So, it's just minus 1 point. Okay. So, as you take more lava, it's minus Not points. Fun. I only got 22 instead of 23. <laughs> Uh, Only 23. Yeah, I think that would still win the game. If you got those high points and the egg and only one lava drop, you're going to win. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you think of Dino Race? Uh, it's pretty good. Yeah, what would you rate it? I would rate it a 4. Alright, 4 out of 5. Okay. okay. Who do you think it's best suited for? I would say younger kids. Okay. Because it's just matching up the terrain tiles, moving along. A little bit of strategy. Yeah, but not much. Yeah, but enough to add into it and make it fun. All right. Thanks, Caleb.